Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. How are you? Uh, good. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Fine. Fine. It was a little bit early this morning, but I see it in your eyes. Yeah. I hope you're ready for yeah, some rides. Yeah. I, I, I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm pumped. Nice. So, ah, the Zilla challenge today. A little bit. We're little gonna bit. try it. But I'm also preparing yeah, so, some other lures, only to double check if the water has some pikes, yeah. some active pikes. <laughs> Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge auf dem Bicker Fishing Channel. Wie ihr seht, stehe ich schon am Wasser mit der Route parat und mein Kollege Simon Torenbeck ist auch mit dabei. Simon, guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. <lacht> uh, we have today a little plan. Yes. Because right. uh, we have designed a cool new lure, a lure that you have in the Abu Garcia program. Yeah. But the special color is from monkey lures. Yeah, we've got three uh, special colors on our Berkeley Zilla Glider. Uh, and today we're going to check if the Dutch pikes like them or not. Ja, das ist heute die Mission. Wir wollen diese schönen Muster einmal ein bisschen auf Herz und Nieren testen. Das bedeutet für uns, dass wir nicht nur diese Köder fischen. Ich habe auch noch ein paar Gummifische und ein paar andere Köder mit dabei, genauso wie Simon. Wir wollen einfach heute mal das, dieses kleine Projekt nutzen, um mal gemeinsam zu fischen. Ich kenne ihn vom YPC Bank. Da habe ich ihn nur als Rivalen kennengelernt <laughs> und das wollen wir heute so ein bisschen, dieses, dieses Kriegsball wollen wir ein bisschen begraben. Today also, we're a team. Yeah. <laughs> today we are a team. We have, we, hopefully we have some fun today and some we nice will. pike. The weather looks like, yeah, pike weather. Yeah. And let's try it. Let's go. Let's go. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I blow soon, soon. No as a child, back in a boom. Nice fish as well. Good size. Okay. On the vanilla cognac. <laughs> That's right. They like this flavor in the morning. Yeah. Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah, huh? a really good fish. Oh, looks good. That uh, looks like a 90 almost. Oh, fuck. It's right? a good fish. I don't want to talk bad about your net, but... Yeah, it's a bit small, I know. <laughs> no, fuck, it's a meter pike. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's off. It's off. Fuck. <laughs> this one was really big. This was a meter pike. Yes. Fuck. I'm sorry, I'm yeah, sorry, but... Don't worry, man. But I, tr yeah, I the tried. Net, the net is a bit... Uh, I, I, I was not counting on a meter pike here. <laughs> it was a meter pike? Yes, it was 105 or something. A yeah. small meter pike, fuck. I'm so sorry that yeah, I, the I have missed up, but <laughs> honestly. I was, I was ready to jump in, eh? but yeah. Ah. Yeah, I, I, I saw you. We, we talked about your net at the, at the car. I was <laughs> a little bit surprised. but Maybe we should take the other one. <laughs> yeah, maybe we take my, my boat net. It's not, not so light. The head was just too big to put in the nut. It was. Yeah, I, I was thinking how I can get it in. Yeah, you can't. It was the angle, it was too short the yeah, handle. Yeah. It, it was like... Yeah, but for pikes like this, this is uh, too, too small of a net, I know. You told me it fits in one <laughs> meter pike in this net, in, at the car in the morning. Ah, a meter pike fits in. Okay, we leave this net here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we just f keep on fishing. Yeah, we, we make some casts and at, at the car... Yeah, we will change the net. We, we're gonna take the... The, the other I just net. don't like to carry so much stuff on the yeah, boat. Yeah, I know. This, but I know. Fuck. All right, rookie mistake. Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, <laughs> Simon. What do you say? <laughs> Looks a little bit more easier. <laughs> you carry it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he be riding on the wave. I ain't got a lot to say. 
Mine's heavy, give me space. Pines ready, let me blaze. Spend money, what a waste. Uh, times money, money pays. You ain't ready for the F. She ain't ready for the F. He be riding on the wave. Uh, I ain't got a lot to say. Uh, Mine's heavy, give me space. Yeah. Pines ready, let me blaze. Yeah. Spend money, what a waste. Uh, times money, money pays. Yeah. You ain't ready for the F. She ain't ready for the F. Mad at savage, I'm back and I'm back and it happening. Ready to blow. It's too small. Ah. I don't, I don't want to hurt him, so maybe I try to unhook him in the water, but. I think he swallowed that one hook completely. Shall I grab it for you? Just bring it to me. Ooh. Yeah, we need Thanks. some, need some yeah. pliers. Uh, I've got pliers here. You have them ready? Let's see who's faster. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. He wanted that one. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. First, well, first fish that come came out. Almost the same size as the one we lost there. Yeah, I think so. It was, it was him. <laughs> Probably his brother. Okay, let's release this one. Thank you. Good job. One but, nil for the soft baits. Yeah, but maybe it was only. Now we change the side. We are mm. now at a little a bit, li little bit larger, maybe a little bit deeper. Yeah, they got more, polar. more vegetation here. Yeah, let's maybe try. It's, maybe it's better. It was my first cast on, on, on this polder, so. Yeah, that's good. Go ahead. I think, yeah. I think you're gonna get one also on the, on the jerk. Einmal zu, zu der Route und zu der Rolle, die ich hier benutze. Das ist einmal die Solution Statement als Baitcaster in der Länge 2,30 Meter. Das ist eine gute Allround-Größe, die man vom Ufer, aber auch vom Boot gut fischen kann. Das Wurfgewicht ist 25 bis 80 Gramm. Das bedeutet, ich kann damit wirklich alle gängigen mittleren Hechtköder werfen, die, äh, die man so hauptsächlich benutzt. Das bedeutet für mich Gummifische zwischen 15 bis 20 cm, Jerks eigentlich jede, jede Marke, jede Größe. Die hat wirklich eine gute Toleranz, dass man wirklich viel mit abdecken kann. Auch ein Spinnerbait lässt sich damit werfen oder ein Swimbait. Deswegen das ist so meine Route, die ich gerne benutze beim Polderangeln. Ich kann die ganze Zeit switchen zwischen Jerks, Gummifischen, Swimbaits und bin sehr flexibel. Die Rolle, die ich benutze, ist eine Diver Tatula Limited 201 ist die Größe. Und äh, ja, das ist wirklich eine sehr, sehr schöne Combo. Schnur benutze ich etwas dicker beim Hechtangeln. Das ist nämlich auch meine Route, die ich sehr, sehr gerne an Big Fish Gewässern benutze. Das ist eine Sunline Super PE Advanced in der Stärke 3. Alright, so as Louis said, we're on a new spot, new uh, uh, polder system here. And the water is a little bit more murky. So that is a good opportunity to change the color on the glider. So now it's time for the only one that didn't swim yet today. Let's get it out, untangle. I believe this one is called watermelon, right, Louis? Yeah, it's called the watermelon. It's a little bit brighter color with a orange belly and a little bit yeah, sharper uh, green kind of color. Might uh, work pretty well here on this uh, bit more murky water. Let's change and uh, see if that works. So to fish the, uh, the Zilla glider, also all types of other soft baits for the, for the polder pikes. I'm using here the Beast X from Abergesia uh, rod, like a two meter rod, uh, not too heavy. We don't need to cast like long distances like on the, on the bigger waters. Uh, and it's still a lot of fun with the, on average, little bit smaller pikes that you catch here. Equipped with a uh, Abergesia Beast X reel. I think the Beast reels from Abergesia are uh, the most well known in the pike fishing industry in Europe. And this is the Beast X, it's a little bit downgraded. Uh, a couple of ball bearings are, uh, are downgraded, so to say. So it's also way more affordable for the bigger uh, audience. So it doesn't really cost much, but it, yeah, I fish with this setup already for two years or something like that. And it uh, works perfect. So let's continue here and try to find one that wants to stick on the hooks because 
I'm very good today with losing fish, missing bites and that kind of stuff. Luckily we've got already one smaller pike on the board, but we still have quite some hours and some waters to fish, so still very confident. Then we switch the sides and I fish back. Or do you think it's not so effective? Ah, uh, we can do a few casts like quickly, but okay. uh, there's there's way more spots here, so yeah, fish. Yeah. Oh. No, we don't lose this one. No. You ready with the big net? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, easy. That's how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Easy. <laughs> On the watermelon. Oh, oh you switched the yeah, color. I, I told the told to the people, ah. but I didn't tell you. Ah, you keep you, keep you, a secret you, for you. We make some <laughs> some small secrets. We are not at the YPC bank. <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> yeah, no. Cool. No, I was saying the the water is a little bit murkier here than where we started. Yeah. So I wanted something with an orange belly. Perfect color, watermelon. Good job. Perfect. Okay. Let's see what we have. Oh, nice fat one. Yeah. Looks really healthy. Yes. I'll just get my rod to you. Yep. There he is. Couple of leaves. Really nice pike. Look at that. Oop. Still a little bit alive, but looks like they have a lot to eat here in these uh, small uh, places. Yeah. Let's uh, release this one. And back he goes. Yeah. Awesome. Good job. On the Zillager. <laughs> so cool. Hey what a nice bite. Just... Yeah, thank you all. Good. Nice. Okay, I say we continue five more casts here. Yeah, yeah we do some casts. And... <laughs> a couple of casts and then we go back. There's a yeah. couple of pikes also there we missed. Yeah. So uh, we're onto something here. They are here. Let's get a bigger one now. Yeah, man. <laughs> ah, nice. Cool. Super bite as well. Yeah, really <sighs> aggressive. Super aggressive. Ja, wir sehen gerade, Simon setzt zum Sprint an. Ähm, er hat leider einen Hänger, da ist irgendwas im Wasser, ein Netz oder... Ja, es sieht ein bisschen aus wie eine Reuse tatsächlich. Weil das, das Problem ist, ähm, die, diese Zillerglider, die wir gemacht haben in Sonderfarben, das sind jetzt erstmal nur Muster, die wir hier haben. Und tatsächlich haben wir nicht viele davon. Ich glaube, zwei von jedem Dekor. Und wenn wir jetzt einen verlieren, was danach aussieht, ist das natürlich traurig. It's crazy, the shit in the water here. Oh, oh wait. You, maybe you oh. get it. Wait. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see if something is inside. Maybe we caught a, a goby or something on the Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> you wow. can see the power of the Berkeley line, indeed. <laughs> it's quite a big net, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> oh. oh, crabs! Crayfish, look at that. How many? Wow. And they have to eat? I have no idea, man. Well, I've never seen this before. But so many. There's a, there's a lot. And you know that the pikes love them, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They eat them a lot. I fish sometimes with... With crawls for, for pikes. Yeah. Huh? Anyway, we got the lure back. Crazy. You have it? Yep. Small one, but a fish. Nice. Oh, and there was another one right at your feet. <laughs> really? Yeah, you sc we scared one with this fish. Super small pie. I can grab it, I think. You However you it? want. Ah, just put it in. Easiest. Nice. That was a really cool bite. I cast it in super close to the shoreline, closed the bill, and it was already on. Crazy. 
Yeah, some, sometimes they are really they, laying. They can be in the margins, like really in, yeah. inside the, yeah. Nice, a bit smaller, but. A pike. A pike. Like that. There you go. Whoop. <laughs> he is alive and kicking. <laughs> nice little pike, around 60, 63 or something. Yeah. Cool. Finally really to, nice. get the, to get a fish again. All right, quickly back. Like that. Up. Good job. Soft bait. Soft Just a, bait. a few few casts with the soft bait. Maybe today and uh, what they want. Yeah, but I got I got quite some bites on the jerk bait, but it's uh, it's more difficult, of course, for the fish to because the bait is going a bit more erratic. Yeah. It it does tease them to bite. Yeah. But it's easier for them to miss the bait. Yeah. In, in fact, and especially when it's. Uh, when the pike aren't really hot, hot like today, I mean uh, they're, they're not feeding like crazy. Yeah. Uh, I think with a steady retrieve, you get more chance to actually hook them, like with the soft bait. But who knows? Maybe I'll switch back to the jerk bait real soon. Never know. Yeah, you got it? Yep. I want to say I saw <laughs> one swivel behind your bait. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh. Yes. The next color is proof. Yes. <laughs> Carpe Nostra. Carpe Nostra works as well. <laughs> Let me get the hook out real quick. Alrighty. This one has been damaged by something, you see? Yeah. But uh, beautiful little pike. Nothing crazy on the size, not like this morning. But a little bit of action. Sure. Nothing, nothing to complain about. This number, four or five, something like that. We missed quite a lot, lost yeah, quite a few. That's the problem today. Uh, yeah, today it's a problem of quite some bad luck, but anyway. We yeah. got some fish, so it's cool. Looks like he, he lives really dangerous in this water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, put it back. There she goes. Nice. Good job. Thanks. It was exactly the spot where we saw at the beginning one active fish hunting. Probably him. Although the swirl looked bigger, like I expected a little bit larger yeah, pike here. Yeah, but maybe there's a second one. Yeah. So we do some cast more. Yep. Nice. There is another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going into the yeah. branches here. Come a little bit in this direction with the wood, stuff like that. Yep. Ah, yep. Here we go. Nice. That was quick. <laughs> Same spot like the first pike here. On the watermelon. Nice. Oh. Short pliers. Small for, net. Short, for short fish, it's enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we don't expect meter pikes in polders like this. No. Either. There are no meter pikes no, here. You don't have to prepare for that. Oh, there's the... Another small, beautiful pike out of the polder on the Zilla glider. Watermelon. Watermelon, special color. Really cool. Really nice. Oh, he looks nice. Aggressive. That's a little bit, little bit better fish here. Really nice. So he wants to jump. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. Whoop. It's a nice little collaboration there. My bait, your colors. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy. Every fish you caught today, I'm happy about. Yeah, yeah. Always good. Would there be a third one? What do you think? Here. We should try. One cast more for each color. As you can see, it's quite long, so yeah. there we go. There's one. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> a 
as you can see, it's quite long. They can be everywhere, but there's one here. So I will try with my small Mexican arms to get this pike. Yeah, I will bring it here. Falling. Oh, here's here's oh, like a wall. It's going into. Yeah, the... here here would be better. He's into the bush bush here. Probably I can take it here. Sure. Or I can give you the net. No. Ah, there he goes. Off? Yes. Ah, it was not a big one. Yeah. But a little bit more action. Cool. Carpe Nostra. Carpe Nostra. <laughs> Deadly weapon. All right, so they are here as well. Nice. For those of you who also want to fish these typical polders, uh, like we have a lot of them in, uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, one tip is, as you can see, for example, this one, this ditch is so long. I think I can look two, maybe three kilometers and I don't see the end of it. Um, and normally the fish, you can, of, of course, you can cover the whole, the whole ditch if you want, but normally the fish are really concentrated on hotspots uh, where there's a little bit of bait fish gathering or where there's a little bit structure like, uh, like we had in the, yeah, behind here. Uh, it's a super long, uh, super long little polder, but then there's two fish uh, concentrated right on the end where there's probably a little bit deeper hole uh, with the uh, water moving a little bit or whatsoever. Uh, so that's, I think, a tip. Always look for some structure like bridges, like uh, where when there's water's connecting, when it's a little bit deeper or, uh, of course, lily pads and that kind of stuff. Uh, so find the structure and then normally you get uh, a little bit more eff effective, efficient fishing time than uh, just going for a boring long stretch. That's, I think that's a good tip. That's what we've been doing today and it works. <laughs> oh fucking hell! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> what a bite! Right in front of your feet! <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> yep! Here we go! Hast du das drauf? Oh, direkt vor meinen Füßen, direkt vor meinen Füßen so drauf gescheppert. <lacht> Ich habe noch nicht mal mehr hingeguckt. Ich hab, der, der Wurf war für mich schon erledigt. War kurz davor, den rauszuholen. A small little pike. Nice again. Little polar pike. I'd want to jump. Let it again into the water. Quickly back. So Adios. this is a little corner with some pikes. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. How was the I, bite? I was like looking in this direction. I was. I want to put it out of the water, and then it, it hits my word. Cool. Really nice. Good job. Watermelon again. So yeah. may, maybe we are we are finding out that uh, vanilla cognac is for for the morning. Yeah. And may, maybe for the biggies. They like some cognac in the morning. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Now maybe we can pull a, a few more out here. Yeah. Who knows? I have no idea wh where my rod is. I ran to towards you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so, der Tag ist vorbei. Wir haben heute schöne Fische gefangen. Sicher, jawohl. <laughs> wir hatten viele Kontakte. Yes, we had a lot of bites. I think uh, almost 20 bites or something. Like yeah. we met a lot of bikes, but this morning the bad luck started a little bit. And uh, yeah. after that we missed and lost a few. Yeah. But we caught another, I don't know, handful or maybe a, yeah. a bit more. This was today a little bit the mission. Wir yep. wollten ein bisschen diesen Köder testen, den Zilla Glider von Abu in Kombination mit einem Monkey-Lose Dekor. Ähm, heute Morgen haben wir einen großen Fehler gemacht, wir hatten den falschen Kescher. Vielleicht lernt ihr aus unseren Fehlern. Wir waren danach dann ein bisschen schlauer und haben den größeren Kescher aus dem Auto geholt. Dann gab es auch wirklich keine Probleme mehr. Ähm, Leute, falls ihr Interesse habt an diesem Köder, der ist streng limitiert, den wird es nur einmalig geben. Folgt uns auf Instagram und Facebook. Wir werden ihn ankündigen. Grob Ende Dezember, Anfang Januar kommt der auf den Markt. Wie gesagt, einmalig. Die werden bestimmt schnell weg sein. Falls euch die Folge gefallen hat, lasst einen Kommentar, ein Like da. Simon, it was a pleasure to yeah, fish with thanks you. Thanks a lot for today. I hope we can um, repeat it. Let's do it soon. again. Maybe not with the pikes, with something else. Why yeah, not? Maybe perch fishing. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Check out the Zilla Glider. They're awesome. They work. Bevor wir jetzt Tschüss sagen, eine gute Neuigkeit. Wir haben jetzt ein Gewinnspiel. Entschuldigung für mein Deutsch. 
you can win this <laughs> Zilla glider, the one that I lost the meter pike on. Uh, einfach ein Kommentar unter dem Video lassen. Unter dem Video lassen und äh, mitmachen. <lacht> genau, Leute. Also lasst einen Kommentar da und seid der Erste, der quasi diesen Köder yes. schon besitzen darf. Viel Spaß dabei. Now we really go. Now we go. <lacht>